Okay, I'm going to go over three questions that might be similar to what you'd see on your BCBA exam or your RBT exam. Okay, these aren't exact questions, but they might resemble something you would see. Okay, so these three questions are on measurement. All right, so we're gonna go through each one, try to follow along and see how you do. So question one, after you were seated at a restaurant, you order a drink and you finish that drink and order another one 10 minutes later. The time between ordering your first and second drink is called what? First things first, what are we looking at? What is our behavior? Our behavior is ordering drinks. Okay, we're looking at the time between two responses, our first and our second response. And we're looking at a time, which is 10 minutes, okay? So that should start to clue you in on what you're looking to measure here, okay? So whenever you see you're measuring two different responses and the time between two responses, you should immediately think IRT, into response time, okay? That should be your, your giveaway when you see you've got two separate responses. So two instances of screaming, the duration between those two, IRT, okay? Why is it not duration? Well, first duration is measuring one response and you're just measuring how long that response occurred. Okay, so if we measured how long it took you to drink one drink, that would be duration. Frequency is just a count. Okay, we're not counting anything here. And then latency is the time between an SD or an inst instruction and the start of a response. Okay, so that's an important distinction between IRT and latency, don't get those confused. Latency is the time between a SD or an instruction and a response. IRT is the time between two separate responses. Okay. Number two, in order to find out how many times a student raised their hand, one would measure what? Now, this is a really easy one. This should be automatic. Uh, don't miss the easy ones. So what are we doing? What is our behavior? Our behavior is raising of the hand. What are we doing? What are we measuring? We're measuring how many times. Okay, so how do you measure that? You just count how many times they raise their hand. Whenever you think count, what you think, you think frequency. Okay, very easy. Why is it not duration? Well, there's no time. We're not measuring how long anything occurred. Okay, we're not measuring how long they raised their hand for. Okay, percent of occurrence. What is percent of occurrence? It was how many times a behavior occurs given a set number of tries. Okay, so if we wanted to measure how many times a student raised their hand out of 10, okay, and they raised it eight, then our percent of occurrence would be eight out of 10 or 80%. But with frequency, it's your most basic, okay, so you're just counting it. There's no time component, there's no criteria, okay, you're just counting. And then IRT, like we just talked about, are we looking at two responses? No, we're looking at one response. We're just looking at raising of their hand, okay? Um, so think about it. If we were to measure how long between the first instance of hand raising and second instance of hand raising, then we could measure IRT, okay? If we said the student raised their hand, and then five minutes later, they raised their hand again. Now that would be IRT. Okay, but we're not looking at any of that. So keep it simple. What are we looking at? How many times? The count, therefore frequency. Finally, what describes latency? The time between one byte and the next. The time it takes you to complete a test. The time it takes you to start to turn your alarm off after it rings. Or the time it takes you to clean up a mess after being asked. Okay, so this is tricky. Think about a, what are we measuring? We're measuring the time between one byte and the next. Two responses, what should you think? Think IRT, okay? So that's not it. Number two, the time it takes you to complete a test. Okay, so one behavior, one response, completing a test. What are we measuring? How long? So the time it takes you, how long it takes you. What are you thinking? Duration, not it. C. The time it takes you to start to turn your alarm off after it rings. Okay, so there's a keyword in here and that keyword is start. Okay, so latency is describing the time between an SD and the start of a response. So in this behavior, what is the SD? 
the ringing of the alarm. What is our response? Turning off the alarm. It's the time it takes you from the SD of the alarm ringing to starting to turn your alarm off is latency, okay? Latency is SD response, time between, all right? Finally, D, the time it takes you to clean up a mess after being asked. Okay, so don't get tripped up here. What are we measuring, okay? We're measuring the time it takes you to clean up a mess, okay? We're not measuring the time or how long it takes you to start cleaning up the mess. We're measuring the total time it takes you to clean up the mess, which is duration, okay? So be careful with the wording. They're gonna try to trick you, okay? So I hope you did well. Um, go back, review these questions as much as you need to, um, and I'll do a different topic next week.